Today we're gonna to be making Southern cabbage with smoked turkey. When I tell you I'm gonna teach you how to elevate those flavors, we're gonna put it together and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get to prepping and let's get started. For our cabbage and smoked turkey, we are gonna need, of course, we're gonna need some smoked turkey right here. And we're also gonna need a cabbage. Not to mention, we're gonna need some bell peppers. Variation of colors, doesn't matter whether it be orange, yellow, red, green, totally optional. It's not gonna change the flavor. Also, we have an onion on deck. And for our seasonings, we're gonna need oil, all-purpose seasoning, chicken bouillon, crushed red pepper, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, minced garlic, as well as salt and water. We're gonna start off with prepping. We're gonna cut our onion. We're gonna take the top off, as well as the bottom, just like that. Push it to the side, get out of here. And you're just gonna go straight down with your knife. I usually take off the top layer, but you don't have to. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna give it a quick rinse. Get all that little dirt off. Place it right there. Down the middle, just like that. And we're just gonna cut into the onion. So simple. Turn it around. Now we don't have to be so perfect with our onions because guess what? Our onions are gonna break down during the cooking process anyway. So this is what we need right here. We're just gonna push it to the side for now. And we're gonna work on our bell peppers. For the bell peppers, as I mentioned, doesn't really matter what color, you just need bell peppers. I like to use the green and the reds when it comes to making, uh, whether it be collard greens or cabbage. It has variety of color. And we're gonna get to cutting, of course. And of course, you can always go back in and cut it smaller if you prefer. How many of you, just curious, how many of you ever had smoked turkey with cabbage? Or should I say cabbage smoked turkey? Because we're gonna be infusing the smoked turkey with the cabbage. So yeah, cabbage smoked turkey. If you haven't had it before, I would definitely tell you what to look forward to. <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely, of course, amazing. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be probably one of your go-to recipes, trust me. And it makes a perfect holiday recipe as well. It's a little spin on collard greens. You can't replace the collard greens because yes, the cabbage and the collard greens, they have their own distinction, but it is definitely gonna be your go-to recipe because I'm gonna show you how to make it and finesse it. What? <laughs> Cut these peppers up just a little tad bit smaller, even though they're gonna break down, trust me, during the cooking process. And do they have to be perfect? No, you can make triangles, squares, rectangles, trapezoids, don't matter. As long as we cut it up into small pieces. Small pieces, I tell ya. Boom. And we are done. We're gonna add some oil to our pot. We're not gonna add too much, of course. Spread that oil around the pot. Make sure everything is well coated. And we're gonna go in with our onions. We're gonna shuffle the onions around just a bit. Shuffle it here, shuffle it there. And we're gonna cook these onions down until they become nice and translucent. We're gonna add our minced garlic. Gonna mix it up really good because you want the aromatics from the garlic to be infused with the onions. And that should take about 30 seconds. Now that our onions are nice and translucent, we're gonna add our bell peppers to the mix and we're gonna mix it in as well. Mix it all in. And we're gonna cook these bell peppers down until they soften slightly. And that should take about a whole minute. Mm -hmm. And my flame right now is on medium heat. I'm gonna give it one more toss to make sure everything is perfect. And at this point in time, we're gonna lower our flame because we don't want our garlic to burn. We are gonna make our chicken broth. 
to this water, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of bouillon powder, depending on how much water you're using, and we're gonna mix it up really good. Get all of the contents at the bottom as well because you want it to dissolve perfectly. If you have store-bought chicken broth, you can always use that. However, I would suggest that you make your own chicken broth using bouillon powder and water. It is so much more tastier. It gives so much more flavor to the food. All right, that's perfect. And we're gonna add it to this pot right here. Stir it up real good. Take that flame, put it back on medium. And at this time, you're gonna infuse all of the flavors, the flavors from the bell peppers, onions, and that fragrant garlic. We're gonna add a little seasonal, not too much because seasonal oil, it says it's seasoned oil. It has all the seasonings in there. It has salt in there, so we're gonna be mindful of that. We're also gonna add some black pepper, not too much as well as some onion powder, just to flavor the water lightly, and garlic powder. We're gonna add just a little pinch of salt, and we're gonna go in with our red crushed peppers, of course. Give it a good mix. And we're gonna add our smoked turkey to this pot right here. Make sure everything is covered with the broth. We're gonna cover it down with the lid. And on medium, medium high, we are gonna allow our turkey uh, neck bones. No matter what type of turkey you're using, whether it be neck bones, turkey tails, turkey whatever, basically once it's smoked, you're gonna cover it down and allow the turkey to become nice and soft and literally falling off of the bone tender. I smoked turkey neck bones. It's down to like the last, I would honestly say about eight to 10 minutes. And we're about to work on this cabbage. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the core off simply by just cutting it off just like that. Make sure your knife is sharp. It makes it oh so better. Just like that. <laughs> we're gonna take off the top layers. It comes off really easily. We're gonna go in and we're gonna cut it in half. Just like that, boom. And you see the core right here. We're just gonna take our knife and we're gonna go in there just like this. Core it out. At this point, we're gonna cut around it. <laughs> out of all the cabbage I picked up in the world, I picked up one with the core leaning to the side. Not directly in the middle, but on the side. So guess what? We not gonna complain, we just gonna make it work. This whole thing right here is the core and that's what's gonna be bitter and nasty. So what we're gonna do is with it, we're gonna toss it. And same thing over here. All right, cut this side down as well. Mm -hmm. And we got some more right here in the back that I'm gonna take off. Make sure it's not the core. I don't need that part. That part is too bitter. All right, so now that we have our cabbage pieces, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop it. It doesn't have to be perfect because guess what? It's gonna break down anyway. Mm -hmm. You can cut it however you want. Because sometimes I cut it in uh, strips. And today I'm just cutting it basically however. Mm -hmm. Really doesn't matter. As long as you cut it up and get it in the pot. Minus the core. That's the main important thing. Get that core out of here. Take the top leaf off. We're going to take our cabbage and add it to our colander. What we're going to do is we're going to add it to some cold water. Wash it off really good. Time to unveil our smoked turkey wings. Look at them. Guys, check it out. My flame is on high heat. Now, let me tell you what, what, what's been going on behind the scenes. I added about four more cups of water because, like I said, I want it to be full of the bone tender. So when you go in like this right here, you see how it breaks apart that easily? That's what we want. So I added an extra four cups because, remember, initially when we started, we added four cups. So now that's a total of eight cups of water. 
to get it as tender as I need it to be. Guys, I don't care if you have to add 12 cups. Allow it to cook down until it's nice and tender. I'm gonna add some more water. This is about a cup and a half more of water. And, 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 the exciting part, the exciting part. We're gonna add our cabbage. Yes, we are. And the reason why we didn't debone or take the meat off the turkey bones is because we don't wanna kill that excitement. We do not want to take away from being able to pick those turkey neck bones up and biting on it and doing your thing, basically. We got our cabbage in here, and this is gonna be everything. We're gonna allow the cabbage to break down and simmer down and all that stuff and get all well in incorporated and entangled and entwined with the deliciousness that's in the pot. We want the cabbage, we want the flavors in the pot to literally infuse with the cabbage. OMG, guys, you gotta try this recipe. It's gonna be, I'm telling you, it's gonna be one of your go-to recipes for the holidays or just because, because it's gonna be that good. Anyway, we're gonna cover it down, allow it to simmer down, break down, and do its thing. Let's be nosy and take a peek at our cabbage. And I'm liking what I see. Check it out right there. You can see those bell peppers that we had sauteed earlier. Remember I told you during the cooking process it was gonna break down? There you go. It has broken down and you could barely see it. To me, it almost looks like bread crushed peppers because it's just peeking through with that little hint of red, which is perfect. I'm gonna allow the cabbage to break down even more and pick up some of that liquid and all that stuff. And I'm gonna, I would say, you know what? I'm not gonna put a time on it. I'm just gonna allow it to do its thing and I'll show you what the final results look like once we're done. Our cabbage is perfectly cooked. You know what, let's go in and bring some of that turkey to the top. Mm-hmm, just like that. Woo wee can't tell me. This is not a beautiful picture right here. Wow, cabbage with smoked turkey neck bones. Wow, the smell, it smells so amazing. I can't even, I wish I could like literally, like I can't through the camera, but anyway, just trust me when I say, it smells great and it tastes even better. Anyway guys, full recipe details, of course, description bar. And until next time guys, enjoy your cabbage with smoked turkey. Trust me, it is amazing. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye guys.